My name's Arthur Curno and I live in Brixham in South Devon. And this car used to live down there with us. It's called the Comet. And it was built by Brian Haywood, the son of Charlie Haywood, who used to drive Coopers. Um, my, my name's James Gray. I'm the current owner and driver of the Comet. Um, I've had it about five years. Um, I'm aware of some of the relatively early history, but not a great deal. But um, Arthur came around uh, yesterday when I wasn't here, looking for who the owner was, um, gave a business card to somebody else under the, the awning, and that was passed to me last night at the ball. And this morning I've made a phone call, and here we are discussing yeah. the, the history of the car. So uh, it's great to, uh, to find out that, uh, that Arthur used to run it, and also that the original owner and builder is still alive. Who's yeah. living down uh, near, near Arthur as well? So yeah. I've now got a link back to the um, the, the, the person who first, first put this all together. It had a fiberglass body in, in when I had it. Somebody, or well, you had the, the aluminium body put on. Mm. Well, it was yeah. it was put on in the 80s when it was restored um, in the mid 80s by a chap who I know who lives down near the Prescott Hill Climb. Um, so I'm in touch with him as a, a former owner. But I've just found out that whereas I'm running it with the Jap Speedway bike engine. Uh, it previously used to have a Norton engine in it when Arthur was running it. Yeah, so we, had, we had a twin can Norton in it, yeah. So it's, uh, that, that's sort of, uh, disappeared at some point in the past, and uh, I'll have to track, track down who's got that now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Raced it yesterday morning in the um, Earl of March Trophy. Um, came in sixth place in that, so it was uh, quite a lot of fun. Very, very wet and greasy track. You know, the rain just before it went out. Um, but this car loves the wet. It's very, very predictable handling. and uh, It's a very well-balanced car. Very well, yeah. And the, uh, the Jap engines have uh, got a much softer power delivery than the North engines, so in the wet they're, um, they're much easier to, to get the power down. 